for a long time, I've not had any of my work available in print form for people to purchase. And that's been because I'm very concerned about the color accuracy, contrast, and detail that I'm going to make available to people if they're going to give me their hard-earned money. So I just wanted to make sure that all that stuff is going to look good for people if they decide to buy something from me. And because I've moved around so much over the past really 10 years, I've just never been able to sit down and make this process happen so that I can sort of put a stamp of approval on something that you're going to buy from me. But I've recently been able to go through that process and make sure that what you're going to get is, is good and then like I like it myself. So I've been able to work out that process with a company called Inprint. They're based out of Florida and I've opened my store recently. And so now there's prints available online. You can go to inprint.com and pick up my prints. I'm going to have links in my description and all that kind of good stuff so you can find it for yourself. And until March 3rd, 2021, I'm going to have a discount code that's effective for 20% off of whatever you decide to pick up. So definitely check that out and use the code at checkout when you go to Inprint to pick up some prints. I also want to let you know that I've got sort of an unboxing process after this segment in the video. And I wanted to create that so that you can see what you'd be getting if you ordered this stuff from Inprint, and also how to take it out of the box. I mean, it's not difficult, but I figured if you see how to do it, that it's just, I don't know, it makes things smoother. You know, that's it. So thanks for watching. And remember, if you go to the website, if you go to Inprint uh, to pick up any prints, make sure you use the discount code. It's good till March 3rd, 2021. And thanks for tuning in. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. See you soon. Bye. All right. Look what came in the mail today. Looks like a nice sturdy envelope from Inprint down in Florida. So I ordered some prints to show you guys what you'd be getting if you pick up any of these things from Inprint via my website and links. So the package is really sturdy. It's a nice strong envelope with a couple of pieces of cardboard inside. And the cardboard, as you can see, is taped on the left and right side. It's not taped at the bottom or the top. Those are just indentations from the packaging. And you can see here that sandwiched between these two pieces of cardboard are the prints. Okay, so I've already cut this on the right side here. I'm going to open it up for you, and now we'll take a look at what's inside. So we've got the two crown con man print here. It's gonna fold it over, line it up for you so you can see it. And if you'll notice at the bottom, the tape is kind of crummy. That's because I've already pulled the tape off. I already opened this thing a little bit so I could run through the opening procedure and make it kind of nice or as nice as I can make it. So I've already taken the bottom off and the top I've already removed one time so it's not as sticky as before. When you do remove it, make sure you're very careful so that you don't tug in such a way that it's going to bend the print. All right, with a quick lighting adjustment and getting this sucker laid out for you, we're gonna look at how to open this thing safely and what comes inside. So on the bottom, I've already removed the tape and I'm gonna flip it over here and we're gonna look at some more of the tape. Now over here on the side, there's a lip of plastic that's just folded over to keep things safe and tidy. I'm just gonna pull this tape off here, making sure that I hold down the print and pull lightly so as not to bend the print because you can bend it and that would kind of suck. So again, I'm just pulling off this bottom section here, being very careful where there's tape, not to pull so hard as to bend the print, but enough just to get the tape to come off easily. And once you get it started, it comes off pretty easily. And now we've got the bag open. Now I was trying to think of the best way to get the print out. And the first thing you do is take off all the tape so that when you, or when you pull out the print, the print doesn't get hung up on the tape and you don't, you won't risk actually getting the image caught up on the tape and ripping away the ink and making things all, all nasty. 
Now, the way I got my images out of my shipment was I actually held on to the prints and pulled the bag away because I thought that would be the best way to keep any of the image surfaces from scraping against anything abrasive and risking doing any damage to the images themselves. What you order might be packaged a little differently depending on what quantity you order. So when you get your package in, just bear in mind the question, what's going to be the best way to pull the images out without doing any damage to the image surface because the paper is sturdy but it's also somewhat sensitive to abrasive surfaces and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this tape here so that while I'm getting everything situated I'm not gonna make the mistake and forget to not let the print touch the tape so let's take a look at these images here I'm gonna show you what options are available on the website. Now one thing to remember when you're moving these prints around is to be careful not to drag the print across the surface. If you'll notice the way I'm moving the print around is that I'm not dragging the print across the other prints. I'm picking it directly up off the print and you'll see in a second I'm gonna pick this one up and set it down on top of the other print directly. I'm not dragging the print. And that's because the paper is very sturdy. At the same time, if you drag prints across one another, you can scratch the image and you don't want to scratch the image. It'll leave a mark. If it's light, it's not going to make a, like a big scratch in the image, but you'll be able to see if you turn the image in the light, what kind of mark it makes. So just be aware of that and be careful when you move these things around. And what I've got here, the two bigger images are the full-size image prints of what I've got available on InPrint right now. And then I've also got a couple of smaller versions available. And they're just a different price point. So if, or, you know, if you want a different size, if you don't want to pay as much for the, the full size, then you can get a smaller one. And these things I'm going to set out here are the art cards. Now art cards are basically like greeting cards. I like to think of mine as horrific Hallmark cards. And when you get these, you get the card itself, which you can open up and write things on the inside or, or whatnot. And you also get an envelope. So you can stick a stamp on it and send it to somebody you want to frighten or that you love. Okay, so back to the art cards. Just to recap everything I've got here. As you can see inside the art card, you've got space for writing something, writing a lovely note to somebody who appreciates macabre and horrific imagery and the envelope that goes with the card itself. We're gonna to try to open it up here, this difficult modern mechanism. And I'm gonna give up shortly on trying to put the card in there because there's other things I wanna show you. Okay, now that the bag is gone, let's recap what we've got here. Again, I've got some smaller sizes of my images available on the InPrint website. They're at lower cost price points or cheaper if you wanna say cheaper but they're high quality I don't think they're cheap I think they're really really good and yeah there's abnormal life portrayed here's two crown con man and again notice I'm not dragging the print I can't emphasize that enough very sturdy but sensitive paper this is abnormal life portrayed again I'm gonna drop a ruler in here in just a second to give you an idea of what the actual sizing of this stuff is is like so what I'm gonna drop in here is gonna be a 12 inch ruler that is a 12 by 12 print the image prints 10 by 10 this is a 12 by 15 print and the image prints at I think it's 9.75 by something 